y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and today this is the second series of my rebranding series and we are going over the amazing rebrand of two chains the guy's done it several times he's a master at rebranding actually but we're just going to go over that first and big time it's a super simple method that i think a lot of you guys will find useful I call it the drip drop, also known as the slow rollout. I just made both of those up off the top of my head, but hey, they actually make sense. So just roll with it. Let me explain. All right, for those of you who do not know, when 2 Chains first came out, his name was Titty Boy. Now, Titty Boy, the name got real popping. Under that name, he was pretty much popping in the Atlanta area. And he held on to that name for a while. He built more and more buzz under that name. However, he made a career transition into two chains as you know it of course now he didn't have much problem doing this because he said the name titty boy just came organically he didn't really plan that name titty boy is basically a name that all of his family calls him you know, country slang dirt road type of term meaning spoiled brat only child being breastfed something like that. oh so that's what it means it means that she was on uh, yeah nothing lunch. derogatory towards women nothing like that so the way this came about however is when he had that name he also went to some record label troubles eventually at some point point in transitioning out of that because if you don't know when you have your name under one record label and you're signed they basically get rights to a lot of things that go under that name right and I'll explain that in the end of the video so what he started to do was was really pay attention to the fans out in the market because he had always said two chains throughout his songs even when he was on player circle that very first project I believe he said one of his very first lines he says titty boy two chains he always said that in later Later on, he started to say it more and more and more, just two chains. And when he would go out, people would say, hey, two chains, two chains. And this is when it kind of clicked in his head. He realized that was a lot more family friendly. He's already going through these other situations. So he needs to kind of create a new artist, create a new self, because that'll help free him up from some of those old situations. So outside of the fact that he does like to wear jewelry and he does wear two chains every once in a while, he also looked at it as having a second chance. It's extremely simple, people. Drop your name, whatever your new name and brand is, throughout your music. You're already building your momentum. Just drop it, start to try to try new things and see what the response is. So he essentially had his rap name and then he had it also known as, right? It's just like T.I. is also known as Tip and some people call him T.I.P., right? He starts to test those out and then now some people call him Tip, some people call him T.I. If he wanted to transition into just an all out actor and no longer be T.I., some people have done that before by just saying, hey, I'm Clifford Harris. This is my real name, and whenever I'm in movies, I say Clipper Harris until just that sticks. And you drip drop that new name, that's where I came up with that from, you drip drop it in in all your projects. You just throw it in there as it slowly rolls out, see what sticks, but also you're slowly branding that in people's minds. That simple people would love to know you guys' thoughts if you know anybody else who has done this method. Diddy does not do this, so if you guys are thinking about Diddy, he doesn't do that. He just straight up says, this is my new name, drops the bomb. 2 chains did a slow rollout of who he became. Now he also has Hair Weave Killer, which is another name, but that's besides the point. There's a whole nother persona, not necessarily a rebranded name. Would love to know what you guys think. And also, of course, every Sunday for the rest of this year, I am answering questions on Instagram. So follow that at Brand Man Shine. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe. But...